In this video, I'll show you how to prepare the metal works in accordance with principles of measurement international, starting right now. Hello and welcome to Coast Engineering Professional. I am Ahmed Adil and here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to develop your coast engineering career. So if this is what you want, surely this channel is for you. And with this out of the way, let's jump to the screen and see how to prepare the Metalworks Bill of One. So Metalworks is section E of the BOQ when the BOQ is prepared in accordance with the principles of measurement international. And section E, which is the Metalworks, consists of three subsections. And the first one is generally about metal works. The second one is structural metal work. And the third one is the non-structural metal work. Starting with the first subsection, which is generally. So what they are telling us here is the weight of metal work shall be the net weight without addition for rolling margin or welding material and without deduction for holes, splay cuts, notches or the like. So the weight of the steel structure or the metal work that you are trying to measure should be the net weight of the structure without addition of rolling margin or any overlapping or welding material or things like that. And also you should not deduct any holes or something there for the bolts or the rivets or splay cuts, notches, small openings and all these things will not be deducted from the weight of the steel structure. Then the second point it says welded, riveted, or bolted work shall each be so described. So you have to write in your BOQ description whether this steel structure is welded, riveted, or bolted because surely it will have a cost impact and it's important thing to describe in your BOQ item. Going to the subsection number two, which is a structural metal work, it's E2. So here, unless otherwise stated, structural metal work shall be measured by weight. So we measure always structural metal work by weight. And what do we mean by structural metal work? The steel structures that you can see, the warehouses and structures that are having trusses and covered by a corrugated sheet or something. So basically the structures that are made from metal or from steel, not from reinforced concrete. And it will be classified as follows. Number one, grillages, which are the steel foundations that will come under your columns. Number two, you have the beams, which are the beams, steel structure beams that you will have for your steel structures. And we have stanchions, which are the columns or the vertical steel elements. Then you have the portal frames stating the number. So the portal frames are frames of beam and two columns on the left and right. Then you have the roof trusses and we know what is a truss. And you have also to state the number of the trusses. And then you have support steel work, which can include sheeting rails, braces, struts, purlins, and all this stuff. Then you have some other classifications as may be appropriate. If you have something that is not mentioned here, you will have to list that down. So these will be your BOQ items that will be measured in weight. Each of them will be measured in weight. You have the grillages, beams, stanchions, portal frames, roof trusses and support steel work. And now we will see the details of how to present that in the BOQ and how to measure these items. But the thing is that the quantity will be there in kilogram or in ton because these items for structural metal work is measured in weight. So other than these items, you can also have the fittings. So for example, or an example for the fittings can be the caps, the brackets, and these shall be given as an item in the BOQ. It will not have quantity. The unit of measurement will be item and the quantity will be one. So it will just be an item. Then you have the fixings like the bolts and the distance pieces, rivets, and so on. Also, these fixings should be an item in the BOQ. Then you also have wedging and the grouting bases or the like. These should be enumerated or counted. Then you have holding down bolts. So if you have any holding down bolts, these should also be enumerated. 
and temporary boxes and the grouting shall be understood to be included so such item will be included in the rate that they will put against your view of view items and the protective treatment if any will be given as an item like powder coating or something like that if you have any protective treatment it will be given as an item it will not have quantity just an item in the boq so the fittings and the fixings both will be items fittings as we said will be the caps and brackets fixings are how you are fixing these steel elements to each other so bolts or uh, distance pieces rivets bolts and this stuff then you have the grouting and all shall be enumerated holding down bolts shall be enumerated temporary boxes and the grouting will be included protective treatment shall be given as an item after that subsection number e3 which is non-structural metal work and this will be there available in all the residential buildings or the boqs that we work with on daily basis and the items that can come under the non-structural metal work can be things like floor plates and duct covers sheet metal coverings and linings or the like and all of these items shall be measured by area so if you have any floor plates or duct covers or metal sheet coverings or linings or stuff like that that are made of some metal these will be measured by area then you have after that bearers and balustrades handrails except where included with a staircase so most of the time the handrail of the staircase will be a separate item and it will come under section e which is metal works so now i am assuming that the staircase handrail is not included anywhere else so in that case it will come here and it will be measured by length all balustrades handrails bearers all this stuff will be measured by length then after that you have matwell frames cat ladders gates staircases if you have some metal staircase or something like that these items will be enumerated so they will be measured in count in your boq and actually if your building doesn't have any structural metal work but you will sure have some non-structural metal work because you will sure have balcony handrails you will sure have staircase handrails you will have some let's say cat ladders and all this stuff so these will be there all the time it's a small bill of quantity actually or a small division of the bill of quantity but it is important to know all the divisions and what are the components of all the divisions and this playlist here is where I have kept all the videos, the previous ones and the future ones also of Principles of Measurement International in case you missed some of them or you want to watch them again or you want to watch from the beginning. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.